The Comets have been checking items off their to-do list all week long. First, clinch a playoff spot. That was done on Wednesday. Next, secure home ice advantage through the first round of the playoffs taken care of on Saturday. Now the Cades are hoping to claim top spot in their division. A win over the Missouri Mavericks on Sunday would help them do just that. Pat Nagel, a stone wall in between the pipes. He keeps this game scoreless through the first two periods, but we will see a little bit of action. Cody Saul and Kane Alicock throwing down the gloves and going at it, but still no goals until the third period. Check this out. Sweet. No look through the legs. Pass from Matt Castilli to Matt Lowry gives the comments a one zip lead, and then they'll extend that lead to two. Matt Krug to Mike Embach. K's up two zip, but Fort Wayne, they will allow one goal. This is Andrew Courtney for the Missouri Mavericks. He will cut Fort Wayne's lead to two to one, but that's it. That's the only goal that Pat Nagel is going to allow as a Comets win for one. Um, it was a good game. You know, I give that team over there a lot of credit. They, they played very hard and uh, they're heading in the right direction. But, you know, for us, you know, to go three and one and four and five this week, um, you know, trying to keep pace with Toledo's big force right now. And, you know, we're looking forward to this challenge ahead of us this week with our longest road trip of the year. I think sometimes we're focusing too much on the, the results rather than the performance, you know, and uh, that can be a scary thing because, you know, there's what, nine or ten games left in the season. And, you know, just because we're winning games doesn't mean we're growing as a team. The K's are now two points behind the Toledo Walleye for first place in the North Division. They return to action on Wednesday night visiting Elmira.